I'd seen her For the first time Again Just like seeing her Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Tell me true. Your Highness. What now, Sakaki? This is in fact an informant from town. I'm afraid he is not a mirror. Ahem! He's telling me what he sees, that's basically the same thing. <sighs> Still, please try to take things more seriously. Informant! Don't just sit there, start talking! Uh, yes, Highness! You want to know who the most beautiful girl in the kingdom of Tonbarun is, right? Well, there is this girl I know of. And who is this girl? Ah, oh, she is a maiden born with exceptionally rare red hair, as bright and rosy as a ripe apple. Her name is Shirayuki, Highness. Goodbye. Take your medicine now. See you soon, Miss Shiryuki. Okay. Feel better, Yoshi. Thanks for your patience. You're still waiting for your medicine, right, Kino? Yes, but please take your time. I just came to let my eyes rest on your beautiful hair. I've never seen anything quite so extraordinary. That's so sweet. Thank you. But since I already have you here, I'll start preparing another remedy. I found some good medicinal herbs, so please take some with you. <laughs> You have turned into a very fine young herbalist. If only your late grandparents could see this, they would be beaming with pride. Oh no, Kino, please don't. <laughs> oh my goodness, I believe I left the stove on. I must go. Uh -huh. Oh dear, silly me. <laughs> uh, I guess I can just take it to her later. <laughs> Didn't you forget something? Uh, you said Prince Raja's concubine? Yes. In other words, you would be his mistress. Absurd. I can't believe he'd be interested in a common girl like me just because of the color of my hair. I'd be an embarrassment to him. Still, Prince Raj has taken a liking to you. Therefore, you are required to formally appear at the castle tomorrow morning. I suggest you look presentable. For Kino, something to ease her back pain and her inflamed respiratory tract. At Eerie's place, both the father and the baby were starting to come down with colds. Yes, so who's next? <sighs> that takes care of everyone. Please know this wasn't your fault.
to say, now that I can see how truly beautiful you are, I think I should keep you very close to me. Oh, my apologies. <clears throat> Fine, Prince Raj. Take me if you wish. But you should know what you're getting. Wait! Stay back! Huh? Oh, I object! Then... <sighs> you wretch! Fuck! Stop spewing such disgusting filth that sullies that poor girl's ears, you boorish pig! <laughs> Zen! Shiryuki, hey, time this for me? Wait, before that, what about your body? Are you okay? I've spent the last few years building up an immunity to different poisons. Yeah, but you... Aha! Uh -huh. So you were the one who took a bite of the poisoned apple. Well, that was rather unfortunate. I was planning on immobilizing Miss Shiryuki so I could take her back home with me. Why am I not surprised that you were behind a bad apple? <laughs> Best mind your manners around me, country boy. Peasants like you should show more respect to royalty. Oh, pardon me, sensitive, delicate first monarch of Tanbarun. I mean, Prince Raj Shinazad. Huh? I'm not one for formal introductions, but... I recognize that crest. As well you should, imbecile. Meet the second prince of Clarines Kingdom. I'm Zen Wisteria. A prince? <gasps> Did he say prince? Zen, please calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Wait, do you know who I am? What's one plus one? It's true, Shiryuki. But I never actually thought I'd be poisoned by anyone, much less a half-wit prince from a neighboring kingdom. Could mean war. No, besides you, you have no proof whatsoever that I poisoned the apple. Oh, I think we have plenty. Yeah, we'll see what's what when we make an official inquiry, liar. No, please wait. I... Well, then, why don't we make a trade, Prince Moron? If you don't want your deceptive actions to be a matter of public record, then swear you will never come near Shirayuki again, or even dare to say her name out loud. How do you know, Shirayuki? <laughs> Okay, okay, I promise! Please! Cross my heart! <laughs>
you are caught in a dance You are lost in the trance of another Arabian night Ah, oh, shit, here we go again Arabian night Like Arabian day More often than not A hotter than hot In a lot of good off my chest I'm telling you today that when I talk to you a oh, cupid walks right through and shoots an arrow through my heart and I sound like a loom but don't you feel it to confess I love you from the start Красновласка не настолько красива. К тому же ее охраняет ужасный рыцарь. Хозяин, вы ревнуете? Чё? Не обращайте внимания.
но нормально будет нам плевать на все. Ай, какая ты красивая, ай, зачем такая милая, ай, случайно не влюби меня всем так. Виноват, что ты в душе его засела Мозги его давно, поверь мне, закипели И он бы рад оказаться в другом месте Но все еще видит вас во сне вместе В его мечтах ты любя берешь его за руку Ну хоть ты тресни, он не видит в тебе подругу Кто за горя, душа кричит больно А ты стреляешь ему в сердце взглядом спокойно Don't you notice how I get quiet when there's no one else around Me and you and awkward silence Don't you dare look at me that way I don't need reminders of how you don't feel the same I'll blow up into smithereens and spew my tiny symphony All up and down a city street while trying to put my mind at ease Like finishing this melody, this feels like a necessity So this could be the death of me or maybe just a better me Now come in with the symphonies and take a shot at Hennessy I know I'm not there mentally, but you could be the remedy So let me play my Cause you don't think I know what you've done But when you call me baby I know I'm not the only one I'm gonna pack my things and leave you behind This feeling's old and I know that I've made up my mind I'll <laughs> Weird, why would she do that? Because you told her to! I don't know what you're talking about.
she's a princess and you're an ogre. That's something no amount of potion is ever going to change. But I love her. If you really love her, you'll let her.